Okay, so, while I was streaming the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection VR missions, one of my viewers mentioned that a new trailer for Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater was released. The new Metal Gear Solid 3 remake trailer? Metal Gear Solid 3 new remake trailer? Wait, a Delta? Oh boy, I did not know that. Okay, we're pausing this crap. Thanks for telling me. I was genuinely surprised. I thought since the Master Collection was just released a day ago, we will never see anything related to the series until next year. So it is kind of surprising that we got a new trailer for Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater after five months from when it was first announced at the PlayStation Showcase. Especially when a certain game that was announced a year ago from Konami, which to this day we still did not hear any news or seen any footage of since then. So for Konami to showcase this trailer at the Xbox Partner Preview was very surprising for me. I had to stop my 100% VR mission grind so I can watch it. The footage showcased first in-engine look and gameplay tidbits from the pre-alpha build of the game. It has a lot of placeholders in it. From Snake's animation, which was directly lifted from MGSV, The Phantom Pain, to Snake's grunge, which you can hear it and recognize it clearly that it was from David Hayter, the voice actor of Snake. You can recognize some of the areas in the footage, from the beginning area where you will pick up your backpack, to the swamp area with the gators in it, to the infamous bridge where you can cross to Razfat, to the cave where you fight the pain, and finally, mountaintop. The design of these areas seems to be faithful to the original game, which I do not mind, but I hope they can spice things up with the level design instead of creating it one-to-one, -one, which is a mistake that Twin Snakes unfortunately has done. And here you can see Snake crouch walking, which is a mechanic he had on the 3DS version of Snake Eater. Although I played the 3DS version long time ago, I still do not remember if this new mechanic was balanced with the original level layouts and enemy positions. But nevertheless, Delta is using a new engine and a new gameplay mechanics in it which I hope things will be balanced really well around it. At the end of the trailer, we see what engine is being used for the development of the game, which turns out to be Unreal Engine 5. And this actually makes me kinda worried, to be honest. The engine itself is great, but unfortunately from what I have seen, that most of the games that has been using Unreal Engine 5 had performance issues. The most recent example is Lord of the Fallen. Plus, from what I have gathered, the engine itself is very demanding, and it requires a high end PC to utilize its full potential, and still yet to be perfectly optimized like its predecessor, Unreal Engine 4. Also, Snakes looks kinda weird here. He looks younger, like very young, like someone in his early 20s. But then again, keep in mind, this is a pre-alpha footage. His face and models are properly placeholders and might change later on. I just wanted to point it out due to how weird it looked. Other than that, there is nothing much to explain about the new footage. Now we know what kind of engine they'll be using, which is Unreal Engine 5, which also confirms that Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater is a remake, a full-fledged remake. Not a remaster, not a reimagining, and of course, not a port. It is a remake where its assets are being developed from zero. In conclusion, like I said earlier, it is surprising that we got a new footage for Delta especially a day after the release of Metal Gear Solid The Master Collection, which also makes me believe if this was intended by Konami in order to face the backlash and absorb the angers of the fans due to the poor launch of The Master Collection, which is why they scheduled this at the Xbox Partner Preview Showcase exactly a day later after the release of Metal Gear Solid The Master Collection. Despite all of that, I am kinda happy that we have seen some new footage before the end of the year. I was wondering, now that the Master Collection has already been released, when we'll be able to get any new footage for Delta Snake Eater. And I concluded that we might get something by early next year. Probably at Sony's State of Play, which is usually being held and showcased in February 2024. I didn't think we will see anything at the Game Awards, ever since Jeff Keighley called out Konami at the Game Awards back in 2015. And since then, Konami did not showcase anything in his events. And that's why I thought we will never see anything related to Delta until next year. So for Konami to surprise us and show us a new footage at the Xbox Partner Preview pretty much tells me that the development of the game is going smoothly. 
and we might see it released by holiday season of 2024. And I cannot wait to know more and how this game will shape up in the future. Let's just hope that Unreal Engine 5 will not cause any problems with the development process. Now I wonder if we can get some new footage or info about that game, hopefully soon. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.